Hey guys, it's Dr. Dark Nerd here, and today I'm going to show you how you can make a ton of money in Terraria. This is pretty much AFK. Um, occasionally, you might want to look back at the screen, but other than that, it's it's pretty good. Uh, your only problem will be your raves. Um, so first, you are going to need a slime staff, which the easiest way to get that is through slime statues, which are pretty easy to acquire, especially if you just collect them before hard mode. And I've rigged all of them up to this one second timer in this nice little area. And then I have a half bucket of lava down in there with them, which won't destroy the statues or any of the items, but it'll still deal damage. And if you don't know how to make a half bucket of lava, all you need is a little container I guess, a little bucket here that you make out of stone or whatever material you're using. And you put the bucket of lava on top of that. Half of the lava will go on this side, half will go into the container that you want it to. And then you can just use a bucket to pick the other side up again. And you can get rid of that little spot or not, it doesn't really matter, it's up to you. And when I got the slime staff, it took a pretty long time. I got three and a half full stacks of slime gel, which it it's a lot. That's 999 per stack. So it took a little while. And I have 10 slime statues. You can do them in groups of three. The first time I ever did this, I did it with three statues. Or you can make them on top of each other, and that way they'll all just fall into one spot and you don't have to move or anything. I just liked it this way. Um... So the next thing you're going to want to do is you are going to need a lucky coin from the pirate invasion, which that can be a little bit trickier to get. Um, first of all, you'll have to be able to withstand the pirate invasion. I'm a little bit overpowered, especially for the level of this world right now, um, or what I've done with the world. Um, but yeah, you'll need to have some pirate maps, which you can get from either ocean. And um, all you need to do is kill some creatures until you get some. I would get two or three at least before you call the pirates. You can get the lucky coin on your first try, or it can take several times. I got it on my second try. Um, so you'll need that. There's also a bracelet that you can get from the pirate invasion that I would recommend you getting because it'll increase the range in which you can pick up the coins um, that the lucky coin will drop. Um, so after you get the lucky coin and the slime staff, you can uh, reforge the slime staff so that it does less damage. That is recommended, but I didn't do it. It's not necessary at all. Um, so after that, you will need Lizahar blocks or mud and jungle seeds. Uh, mud and jungle seeds are a lot easier, um, obviously, because Lizahar blocks are practically impossible to mine half the time. And um, so, what you'll need to do is you'll be able to, you'll have to make a structure that's big enough to make it considered a jungle biome. Um, and then you'll need ramps on both two sides of a little water platform you'll need here. That way when you stand in the water, the creatures that are in the water will aggro onto you, as so, and they will slide along the ramps on the either side and go into this little area. Um, another added thing that I did was I put 35 golem statues up here. This is a little bit more for fun. It does help in the money making if you have a beefy enough computer to run all of that at once um, it can give you a little bit of lag not too bad but it's definitely possible um, once I get back in here um, I would also recommend bringing someone along with you that way you can sell items to them because the golem the granite golems will drop uh, night vision headsets basically. Um, I'm going to turn off my uh, minions here. Um, which are worth two gold each. So they are 
pretty good drops. Um, so those are definitely worth selling. So once you put the slime into this little area with their creatures, what they'll do is the slime does one to two damage every hit and the lucky coin it's basically what it does is hitting enemies will sometimes drop extra coins and that's all the way up to gold it doesn't give you platinum unfortunately but it does give you a lot of money um, as you can see in my money area um, it does fluctuate how much you get per you know minute or two depending on how many creatures are in here um, I did time it though and when I was getting I was fully had everything set up I was getting three and a half platinum per 10 minutes which is really nice if you're trying to reforge weapons or anything in when you're trying to go against bosses um, at the moment the golems my games kind of glitching out and they are not coming down but they do like I said they do drop the night vision helmets and you can sell those for two gold each um, as you can see I'm already up to 93 gold I started with I think 60 so it, it's pretty pretty efficient so I think yep there they are now they're coming I'm gonna kill this slime real quick it's being a problem shut the door so yeah there it is the night vision helmet and if you sell it if you can get close enough sell it for two gold each unfortunately the granite blocks that they also drop aren't worth anything you can sell the shark fins glow sticks and any banners you get also um, they're not worth a whole lot but they're definitely worth selling and like you, you can see the platforms down there that they're getting stuck on they are not dropping all the gold where I am unfortunately which is a bit of a problem so yeah that's why you'd need the bracelet okay I'm not gonna die here okay so I guess that rounds up the video guys thanks for watching subscribe like and this is dr. Dirk nerd out